This is the exact same outfit I wore in my, uh, November most anticipated videos. Just realized that. We're rolling with it. Called it Whispers and War... Roars. Mm. Coulter. Coulter? What kind of name is Coulter? That's a stupid name. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my December most anticipated book releases. I have a total of six that I've decided that I was excited about. It took me a really long time this month to actually find ones that sounded cool to me. I don't know why, it just nothing was catching my eye. So, without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I'm anticipating for the month of December is called Saving Sophie, and it is by Sam Corrington. It's supposed to come out December 15th, 2016, and the catchphrase is, a teenage girl is missing. Is your teenager involved or is she next? I just think it sounds really cool and interesting, and I want to know if she's involved or if she's next. I'm just saying. The second book I'm anticipating is called Scared to Death and it is by Rachel Amflett and it is supposed to come out on December 6th, 2016. When the body of a schoolgirl is discovered in an abandoned house, it is deemed a kidnapping gone wrong. Detective K. Hunter is not convinced that this is the case. When the death of a man seems to be connected to the death of this schoolgirl, everybody believes that the case is closed until another girl goes missing. I just love me some thrillers and it just sounded really interesting and I want to know who actually killed these girls and if it's a serial killer you know your girl love her serial killers. The next book is called Whispers and Roars and it is by Kay Webster and it's supposed to come out on December 6, 2016. I'm just gonna read the synopsis because it sounds super interesting to me. It says, when my eyes are closed, the monster can't ever see me. When I sing a song in my head, the monster can't ever hear me. When I pretend my bedroom is a playground where I play hide and seek, the monster can't ever find me. The darkness should frighten me. I should worry I'll find more monsters. Monsters scarier than him. But I'm not afraid. It's safe here. When I'm inside my head, he can't ever touch me. Like, like and then there's like a warning saying like, this book is triggering. But I just think it sounds so good, and I love books like that, so very excited for that one. The next book is called Teach Me to Forget by Erica M. Chapman and it's supposed to come out on December 2nd, 2016. This book follows Ellery who wants to die. She's made arrangements for her funeral, she's bought her gun, she's made everything sure that she can go through with her plan until the gun breaks. She goes back to the store where she bought the gun and she tries to return it but she's using the wrong receipt so she ends up being caught by the security guard the security guard ends up being Coulter Sawyer, who is the perfect boy from her class, and he discovers what her plan is, and he tries to stop her by telling her a secret of his own. I just want to know what the secret is, to be honest. And I want her not to commit suicide, so I want to know how that story ends. So I'm excited, and I really like the cover too, it's like super simple, so... I want it. The fifth book that I'm anticipating is called The Secret of a Heart Note, and it is by Stacey Lee. And I forgot to look up the date that it comes out, but sometime in December. <laughs> I'm a great booktuber, and no. So this book follows 16-year-old Mimosa. She is one of two aromatures who are still alive, and this means that she can mix perfumes to help people fall in love. The only thing is, in order to do this, Mimosa is not allowed to fall in love herself. But when Mim accidentally gives the wrong potion to a woman, she has to rely on the woman's son in order to fix the problem, and that is when she starts to fall in love. I just think it sounds like a super cute YA book. And if I'm going to be reading thrillers, which you know your girl's going to be reading thrillers, she needs a little YA to make her life seem not as miserable and evil. So I thought this one sounded cute, so it's on my list. The last book that I'm excited about is called The Twilight Wife, and it is by AJ Banner, and it's supposed to come out December 27th, 2016. The book follows Kyra with trope, who doesn't really remember anything about her diving accident that left her with this complex memory loss issue. She only has a couple of flashbacks from the last couple of years of her life, and that's when she starts to remember things and they don't seem as happy as she once thought they were. I just think that it sounds cool. I want to know like what these flashbacks are and why they're not as happy as she thought they once were. I think it sounds cool, so your girl gonna read that book. Okay, okay. Alright guys, so those were my six most anticipated reads for December. I found it really hard this month to find ones that I was actually excited for, so hopefully they're new to you. I didn't pick any popular books this time, so you're welcome. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!